Award-winning chef Kelvin Chung has come all the way from Dubai to show us his very famous fish dish that is served at Jun's. Yeah, this is on our current tasting menu, which mm -hmm. we keep very seasonal, that we keep changing. Mm -hmm. uh, this is one of my favorite dishes that I hold to my heart. Yeah. Um, it's something that my mother made for me whenever we were sick. Um, oh. And it's just kind of like a hug in a bowl. So we're going to start with a bit of ghee. Okay, here's a spoon. Thank you. So we'll add a tablespoon of ghee to the pots. And this is where that real comfort comes from, a combination of rice and lentils cooked down slowly. Yeah, and mm. it just it's so nutritionally dense, yes. um, but easy to break down. Mm. So we're just going to add our shallots in and sweat those out. Yep. You mind giving that tomato a quick rough chop? Absolutely. Can do. Thank you. So this is what I love about your restaurant. It's not just one type of cuisine. It's always comes from somewhere. There's always a story behind each dish. So for every dish that I create for the menu, it's mm -hmm. always based on a story or a flavor memory, like I like to say. Food is the common denominator for all of us. And there's always this connection, no matter where you're from. Mm, very nice. In with a tomato. I'm gonna rip off some of that beautiful curry leaves just to toss in, oh, to add some nice aroma into that. Just one? Ah, perfect. Wow, love curry leaves. And we're actually using some tua dal. Yeah, it's just super flavorful mm -hmm. and it gives you so much nutrition. Yeah, and look at that. We've uh, w washed this really well, rinsed it, and they're ready to go. You always need to give them a good wash, don't you? Give them a good wash, and I yep. like to soak them the night ahead. Um, that way it cooks a lot quicker. Yeah, it gives you that lovely creamy consistency exactly. too. Exactly, so we're yep. just gonna pour that right on top. Okay. What type of rice are you using for this? I prefer jasmine only yep. because I like the fragrance, yes. um, and I feel like it breaks down nicely into this. Very nice. Right, so we're just gonna pour in that in. Mm -hmm. We'll add our lentils, and if you can pass the chicken stock. Sure can. And we'll let that simmer away until it's fully broken down. We want it almost falling apart um, so that it's kind of homogenized into this one beautiful kind of uh, rice lentil soup almost. And we're just gonna cover that, and we'll work on our fish. All right, this is a lovely combination of the fish. Not many ingredients for an outstanding flavoured fish. Very nice. So what goes in the marinade? So first we're going to take a little bit of miso. Um, just give that a quick mix. So miso goes in, just a mild miso for this? Yeah, so generally for fish and um, kind of cleaner, lighter flavours, um, I like to stick to the white misos. Um, if you wanted to replace it with a meat for this dish, feel free to use a darker miso and that'll give it a nice robust flavour for that. Mm. Okay. All right. So just pour in a little bit of your mirin, mirin and a little bit of sugar and just mix it until it's smooth. So three ingredients is all you need to make a really delicious crust for your fish. Okay. Okay, and while you're mixing that, mm -hmm. I'm just going to toss in a touch of turmeric into our pot here, just to give it a little bit of color. Um, also, turmeric's just great for you. Antioxidant, full of flavor, but it'll make this kanji kichidi look beautiful. Oh, fantastic. Okay, so now that you've mixed it and the marinade's nice and smooth, mm -hmm. just plop your fish into the bowl and just make sure it's completely covered. Fantastic, well, we're just gonna let that sit there and do its thing while our lentils and rice cook. All right, Kelvin, the fish has been marinating. Oven is on. Now, we've got that quite hot, don't we? You want to get it nice and caramelized because the more char there is on there, the more flavour there is. Mm -hmm. And we want a bit of that smokiness and earthiness to go with our kanji. So on with the fish. And we don't need the excess marinade. Yeah, it's done its job. Yeah, don't want to too much because it will tend to burn. OK, off that goes. And because it takes very little time, we will keep an eye on it. Perfect. All right, what's next? Okay, so let's just keep a quick check on our yes. kanji. You see that it's broken down nicely. Yes. And everything has cooked well nice into it. Oh. So once that's ready, now that our fish is in the oven, we'll make the sauce. Yeah. Okay, so what we're doing is we're actually making something called an Indian style tadka. So we're just gonna pop our pan on, get mm -hmm. it nice and hot. Mm -hmm. We're gonna add a couple tablespoons of ghee. Mm -hmm. And then this is where we build the flavors. And feel free to use any spices that you like. Okay. Um, while we're doing that, if you want to give a quick chop um, to our uh, spring onions and then yeah. cut a couple of onions for us. Okay. Okay. I'm going to get this quite hot and I'm going to pop in my mustard seed so that it pops and infuses that flavor into the ghee itself. I want to just toast that until it gets nice and crackling. Okay, you'll see it start to pop and then when we're ready, we're going to add our chilies. Okay, we'll give that a quick toss. Mm. You want to give a slice to that lime so that you're ready. Once our chilies are nice and toasted and that flavor has come out, we're going to toss in our curry leaves just to give that a nice toast. Okay. Love the smell and of that pop. <laughs> yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. And to stop it from burning now, we have some lime. We're just going to put a squirt of lime juice to stop the cooking as well as to give it a bit of acidity. Okay. Okay. Woo! <laughs> okay. We're going to turn off the heat. We'll add a sprinkle of salt because we always want to season it and make sure the sauce is nice and flavorful. Okay. 
smells. We're just going to attack to our fish. It smells so good. I'll get the fish. Kelvin, this fish looks incredible. Can you smell it? Oh, it smells so good. And within moments, you get that gorgeous charred fish just by putting that under a hot grill. Okay, so our kitchenie is fully cooked, mm -hmm. nice and hot. Okay, so we're just going to put a couple of ladles down. Mm -hmm. And then if you could be so kind, if you want to put a piece of fish on top. Can do. Just in the middle? Yeah, it's perfect. Oh. Okay, and then we have some of our tatka that's ready, hot to go. Okay, we're just gonna just gently put that on top. Mm. With some of that curry leaves, put a little bit extra around on the kanji as well. Mm. Okay, and just give us a nice, beautiful squirt of fresh lime juice on top of the fish. I always like to give it a little bit of acidity before we serve. Okay, just a small pinch of finishing salts mm -hmm. and just some fresh spring onions to go on top. All right, just a little bit of that. A bit more. Perfect. Oh, that is a thing of beauty right there and ultimate comfort. Hug in a bowl. Oh, we should have a taste, shouldn't we? Ooh. Definitely to try the fish. Yeah. And the rice and lentils together. Mm. That fish is cooked to perfection. Everything just goes so well together. It's a perfect, perfect quick meal. Oh, I absolutely love this one. Thank you. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.